Oh, well, that image needs to get put in, and this needs to get vertically aligned to the top. Oh, and these paragraphs need to become, these lists need the brown color. So let's start with our second TD and vertically align it to the top. There it is. Let's get this last image in. And we'll start with the assets. Go to images and choose image four. Let's give it an alt tag. Oh, a width first. and an alt tag. Finished cake. Save. It's looking pretty good. I think this could be, in terms of width, let's see, I think this side needs to be wider than that side. So let's see what we can do about that. TD width equals I'm just really kind of guessing here, but now let's get these paragraphs to be brown. I think I need a break between that sentence and this image. Oh, and this needs to get formatted. Yes, of course. Is this another list? No, it's not, but it does need P tags. P. For me, there's something ultimately very satisfying about tagging up a, a website. I'm not sure why that is. But we want the words bake that sentence, chill, and make ahead. We want those to be strong. cake is done. Oh, that's not, in fact, that's not even a paragraph. There we go. I didn't mean to capitalize that. I think that you'll reach a point where you're also correcting yourself as you go. And I think this is mine, and this is what it's supposed to look like. So I think all I need to do is make these brown. Let's find that brown. Where is it? It's not the table background color. It's the text background color. It's right here. Style equals. So I'm going to put that in my third table in every paragraph. One of the things that you're going to learn, oh, this doesn't have a P tag, it's got the word the there instead. There we go. So that's those three. And with lists, you can just add the style to the list. That's everything. So this that I've built, 
should look exactly like this. I don't know if it does. Did I make that last? It looks like this line needs to be made bold. I think that's the only thing I didn't do. Let's find it. It started with I recommend. Look, let's just type Command F and type here I rec. There's that one. There's this one. And this is the one. See how I'm nesting this? This is really important that the word strong, because it comes after the opening P tag, then the closing strong tag comes before the closing P tag. So it makes a sandwich. All right, let's do a quick look through. Um, I'm just checking some of the code. I will tell you next week how to make all these red things go away and how to cut your time in half of all this tagging that we just did. Uh, let's see. I'm just checking my code. Oh look, here's color twice. I think I remember doing this, but we can take that out. I think I'd also like to take my tables. Here's the first TD via line top. I think I'd like all my TDs to say that. I'm not adding a new TD tag. I'm replacing the old one. I'm going to add via line equals top to this. I just think it makes sense to have it in everything so that everything snag, uh, snaps to the top. It looks good. Do all of my images have alt tags? That one does. These two do. This one does not. Let me add it. This is a slice of cake. There we go. Save. And here's our website. Remember what I said. Print these pictures and then print your code. I'm going to X out of this and then print your code and staple these together and put them in a three ring binder. Next week we're going to address how to get rid of these deprecated tags.